Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. My name is Rebecca and if you're new here, I post videos all about beauty, luxury, lifestyle. So if you're into that kind of content, then definitely hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. And in today's video, I have a pretty exciting unboxing from Louis Vuitton. As you can tell from the title, you already know what it is. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you just the unboxing and I'm also going to explain why I picked this specific piece out of the many choices that are available in this little family of items. So if you wanna see the unboxing and kinda of hear my thoughts as well as some details about the piece, then just keep on watching. All right, so um, really quick before we get into this, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into the unboxing. That way I can show you the piece, you can see the unboxing, and then we can kind of talk about the details and why I picked this specific item over some of the other comparable ones. So let's jump into the unboxing. All right, so as you can see, I did pick up the Toiletry 25 in the monogram canvas. This piece retails for 705 US dollars before tax, as well as this comes in two different prints. So it comes in the monogram, which does have some Vaquetta leather along the lining, and it also comes in the Damier Aben. I did not actually get to see the Damier Aben in person. However, when I was looking at these online, that is actually the one I was leaning towards, mainly because I had seen different toiletry bags that were in monogram with the Vaquetta and I kind of didn't love the way it had aged and I feel like it is a little risky if you are gonna have this in a bathroom however honestly I am just a big sucker for the monogram especially in toiletries and I feel like the monogram is just so classic and realistically the amount of Vaquetta on here is very very minimal I don't think I'm really gonna run into too many issues and I don't intend to really keep this in a bathroom. Yes, when I travel, I will probably be using it in a bathroom, but I, I don't think I would leave it in the bathroom even when traveling. I would probably move it to my suitcase and kind of keep it out of the bathroom just in case. So this, this is called the Toiletry 25. Now, if you're not familiar, Louis Vuitton has many different toiletry options between the men's and women's line. So they have the Toiletry 15, 19, and 26 that are all very similar to each other, which let me show you my Toiletry 15 just so you can get an idea. So this is what the Toiletry 15 looks like. This is obviously very, very mini. I don't use this as a toiletry bag. I actually just use it as a catch-all inside of my bag. But all of the 19 and the 26 look exactly like this. They're just in different sizes. Now, when I went in to purchase this one and look at the different toiletry bags, uh, he did show me the 26 version of this. And while I really did like it, the main thing I was looking for and what kind of led me to choose this one is that I wanted a toiletry bag that could hold both my makeup and my you know, skincare toiletries. I, I didn't want to have to be carrying multiple bags. So I will be doing a whole video on what fits in this as well as showing you how it fits in a suitcase. That is one thing I have noticed that every other review that I watched on this bag, which there aren't that many, they did not show you how it fits in a suitcase. And I feel like that's really important because if you're gonna be traveling with this, you might need to put it in your suitcase. So it would be a good idea to show you how it fits in one. So stay tuned for that and definitely subscribe because I am going to be doing that video very, very soon. I wanna kinda of post these close together. That way, if you are looking for the what fits, you'll have that available. So I mainly picked this one because I liked the size of it and I really wanted something that could fit both. Now I was between the men's toilet pouch 
PM and the GM, but they didn't have those in person. Actually, no, they did have the GM in person, but the main thing I didn't like about those was that on the inside of the bags, they did have like little elastic so you could hold items, which yes, that might have been convenient, but I just didn't love it. I, I really would rather just have something that's very open and able for me to use. Now, obviously, my intention is to be able to put both toiletries and makeup in this, but I won't really know if that's gonna work until I actually film the what fits because I'm not gonna test it until then. So overall though, I think this is a really beautiful bag and while I have you guys here, just to add a little bit to this video, I did actually sell my Louis Vuitton Clements wallet and that went towards funding this. Now, I did not sell it just because I wanted this. I had my reasons for why I sold it and in case you're interested in that, I'm gonna tell you right now. I, if you saw back in January, I believe it was, I posted my unboxing of the Louis Vuitton Clements wallet. I will go ahead and link it below. And I also did some videos featuring that wallet, comparing it with other luxury wallets. So I'll have all that linked below in case you do wanna watch it. I really did like the Clements wallet. There was nothing wrong with it as far as the wallet itself. It was great for what it was. However, for me personally, it just really, I just wasn't wanting to reach for it. I did use it for about a month and I just realized that A, I really don't like zip around wallets and I'm pretty sure in my unboxing I actually mentioned that I don't like zip around wallets, but I took the gamble and was like, oh, I'll be different this time and I'll, I'll like it. Usually I don't like zip around wallets just because it creates more of a fuss when you need to get into it. So, you know, that was one reason. And also I just find that I'm always reaching for my compact wallet or my card holder. So I just really didn't need a long wallet, especially because my Victorine wallet can hold bills in their normal state. You don't have to fold them, they fit in perfectly, but it's still a compact wallet. So ultimately I decided just to sell it off and let somebody else enjoy it and then I got something that I would rather have. So obviously I'm going based on the fact that this is gonna work to how I want it to. If it doesn't, then maybe I'll end up returning it. I obviously do have that window. So I do wanna go ahead and test and see what can fit in this and if it's gonna work to the way I want it to and then we will go from there. So anyway, that is this brief, quick little unboxing video. I wanted just to go ahead and show you guys the piece and unbox it so you could see all of that and kind of hear my reasonings on why I picked this one over some of the other options. For me, I think that this is gonna be the most bang for your buck just because it kind of is in between like the toiletry 26 is in the 500 range. The men's toilet pouch in the like GM size I think is in the 800 range and then you have like your nice BB and the nice mini those are all in the thousand dollar range so I feel like it's kind of smack dab in the middle but has a very good capacity at least that's what it seems like so I just think that this was a great choice for you know wanting to use it for both toiletries and makeup so anyway guys I really hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see the what fits definitely subscribe so you don't miss that and that is it for today's video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.